What is an NVMe or M.2 heatsink? Do you need one? Let's talk about it. Off rip, this was sent out by Oracle, but I have full creative control, which means I can say and do whatever I want. They just sent the product. They just want to review or unboxing. So let's get into it. If you happen to like this video, please do drop a like on the video. It helps out a lot and consider subscribing because if you like this video, you'll like the other videos I make as well. In simplistic terms, an M.2 or MVME heatsink is kind of like what your CPU cooler does. Primarily with air coolers, you'll see these copper pipes or just pipes coming out into like the base of it. There are some pipes and what they do is they help disperse the heat. You'll see when I unbox it. But before we get into that unboxing, do you need one? Relatively, I think no, not all the time. Unless you have a case that has very minimal airflow, nine times out of 10, it should at least maintain decent temperatures. I'm what I like to call a temperature nerd, nut, freak, anything you want to label it as. And what that means is I like all of my temperatures to stay as low as possible, either while idle or under load. So even though I have nine fans in this case, I still like to have one of these. You can get RGB ones if that's up your alley. This one's a stealth black, it looks really nice. Unless you notice your temperatures are high, you don't really have to get these until you're getting things for like customization. So worry about the main components first if you're first building a PC. Which stay tuned, I will make a video on how to build a PC relatively soon. The beginner guy, cause smoke's got you, I know what it's like. But let's get into the unboxing. As you can see, it was built very solid, very hard metal construction with the copper pipes that look like it dispersed heat very well. I like the fact that it comes with a screwdriver and all the screws you need on top of the thermal pads. Have I noticed any major changes in temperatures while using this? Yes and no. The other day while I was testing COD without one, running temps. It still spiked between 60 and 70. I think the highest I seen it go was 60, which is not bad at all. But still, I want to see if there was any difference made. So around idle, I was between like 40, 45. I noticed that I never reached over 56. So here I'll provide the photo tests of before and after without it. And here I'll provide the test of before and after with it. Overall, I think it's a worthy purchase. I truly enjoyed mine. It looks nice in my case when it's not blocked by my CPU cooler, but I will be getting an AIO soon. Keeps my temps cool when idle and gaming i'd rather have it not need it than need it not have it you know i give this a solid 8 8.5 out of 10 because it has done some justice in six degrees is a massive jump at least for me and what i've experienced but if you guys wanted a more in depth on which situations you would need an m.2 heatsink or when it's good to get one when it's not good to get one a more in depth on the whole m.2 heatsink itself let me know down in the comments below and i will get to it as soon as possible I do have a few videos coming up for you guys. Look out for a video this Friday. I'm going to try to drop another one Monday and then that Friday as well because I do got a lot of content to catch up on. So we got like a mic review, keyboard review, and I'm not going to give too many spoilers, but you know, stay tuned for that, guys. If you haven't already, please do consider dropping a like. Comment down below. You can say, hey, give me your opinions on your video, any constructive, positive feedback you have. I'm more than willing to hear any of that. And if you haven't already, like I said, consider subscribing if you like the vibe of the channel or what I'm doing here or maybe in one of my other videos. Again, the link to purchase just this one exactly is in the description down below and check out my other socials i post on tiktok daily my instagram i got a discord if you guys got any questions want to join chat chill talk i appreciate all the support and i love you guys smokes out